For the sake of my beloved wife, I have her photo, I often look at it. It was for her sake, looking into her eyes, looking into the eyes of my children, that I went for a military service. A serviceman of the 30th Independent Mechanized Brigade, with a call sign Advocate, was practicing law before the full-scale invasion by Russia. The native of the Kiev region stood on the doorstep of the military recruitment office on February 25, 2022. He says that his beloved support supported his decision to join the service, which is one of the most important things for a fighter. How have this year and a half been for you? Sometimes it's hard. I miss my family and my wife. Sometimes when it's hard, I want to hug her, but unfortunately I can only hug the machine gun. Now, Advocate is an infantryman. He is serving at the Bakhmut bridgehead, defending the Ukrainian positions just 50 meters from the enemy's trenches. Does your work, your professional activity before the war, help you in any way now at the front? It helps, because I worked as a lawyer and when I helped my clients in criminal cases, I built a certain tactic, a line of defense, how to do it, and it also helps in military service, tactics of how to place yourself, what position to choose, where it is better. So certain moments from pre-military life actually help. Countless repelled assaults is how the advocate and other soldiers earned the respect of Russian military servicemen. After one such failed attempt to break through Ukrainian defenses, the fighters recall one of the Russian soldiers tried to communicate through the trenches. He shouted to him personally, good night, with promises that there will be no assaults. He shouted loudly, because their position was 50 meters away from ours, said, advocate, good night, we will not assault tonight. And they didn't assault? No, they didn't. Often, says the servicemen, they have to communicate with Russian occupiers, persuading them to surrender. They realize that if they are captured, it's a chance to get treatment, since most of them in the situation where they are wounded and other soldiers who fought with them have retreated, and it works on them, they surrender. Advocate says he tries not to lose his positive attitude before the upcoming combat trips. You are very optimistic. Did you have any injuries? Yes, I had. Shrapnel. Yes, the shock wave hit me a little in the trench. Three ribs were broken, but I recovered and went back to the boys. I already missed them. In order to find the strength inside and volunteer to military service, the defender says you just need to think about the future of your own family. The only thing that motivates me the most is my wife and kids. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Alena Hramova, UATV News.